Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today, we're gonna to be answering the question, how can X-Ray work with any software? Let's get into it. So very simply, software has two parts, a back end, which has all the data, and a front end, which has the interface, which you're really used to clicking and typing in. So the back end and the front end typically communicate using something called an API, an application programming interface. Now this is a little software development terminology here, and this is the way that all of the applications that you're using today is built with a back end and a front end. Now that back end has all the data associated with the application. So whether you're using Trello or Gmail or uh, Asana or any application, any modern application has a back end filled with data. Now, as an automator, we're really concerned about that back end. That's the thing that we actually care about because that has the information in it that we're going to pick up and move to a new place or copy to a new place. So X-Ray is able to work with any application uh, typically because there is an application programming interface, an API, and we can connect to that API to access the data source. And that's the thing that we really care about because the data source has all the information that we either want to copy or move or track, or we can move it to a new application somewhere else that you're working across your day. So it is the vast majority of cases that a modern application actually has an API. And if it doesn't have an API, there are some other ways that we can use the front end, use the, the user interface to use a robot and point and click and type and navigate to the right section and extract the data from the interface. That's a much more difficult way to do it. And frankly, it is a fringe case. We very, very rarely actually need to do that. Uh, because of the way that modern applications are built, they typically have an API, and whether you're on Zapier, Integromat, or one of the other automation platforms, you can very easily access um, communicating with the API. Now, the API specifically has documentation. Now, these are like specific words or specific ways of writing what's called a query, basically a question, to the, the back end of the database to say, hey, do you have this information? Do you know how many times this particular event has happened or how many items are on that to-do list or what the title of that, that card is? You can ask that question to the back end and it will return to you the information. And, and that's how we're able to interact with really any software application. So long as it has a back end and it has an API, it can be included. So I hope this video has been helpful and, and give you a little 101 on uh, automation and software development and how it's possible for us to be truly tool agnostic. As always, links and resources are in the description down below. And don't forget, keep the flow.